So today I will present about past year chapter 4 question 14. First we must read the question. So an atom X has 5 valence electron. X reacts with fluorine gas to form XF3 and XF5 compounds. For each compound we must draw the Lewis structure predict the electron pair geometry and the molecular geometry and lastly we must draw the molecular geometry and state the bond angle so first we must know the total number of electron for both compound so xf3 total number of electron is 26 and xf5 total number of electron is 40 then we will draw the lewis structure First, we must know how many bonding pair for each compound. So, XF3, we must have 3 bonding pair that contains 6 electron and we will have 20 remaining number of electron. Then, we must complete the orbital of fluorine. We will, we will have 6 electron times 3, we will get 18. And there will be remaining 2, we will be our lone pair here. So, we will get 2 marks when we draw this Lewis structure. For XF5, we know that there must be 5 bonding pair that contains 10 electron. So we will get 30 and we must also complete the fluorine orbit. We will, get, we will also get 30 so the remaining will be 0 and we will get 2 mark when we draw this Lewis structure. So the class of compound for XF3 is AB3E and XF5 is AB5. So next question, we must predict the electron pair geometry. So we have three bonding pair, one lone pair, and it will make us electron pair arrangement is four. So we get one mark here. So for XF5, we know that there will be five bonding pair, zero lone pair, and the electron pair arrangement is five. So we will get one mark here. Next, we must know their molecular geometry. We must first we must know their basic shape which is tetrahedral and tri trigonal bipyramidal and we must know their, their their molecular geometry which is trigonal pyramidal we will get one mark and trigonal bipyramidal we will get one mark here and lastly we must know their molecular shape this is the molecular shape for trigonal pyramidal and we must state the angle here so we will get two mark and we must know the molecular shape of trigonal bipyramidal and we must take this 90 degree angle and 120 degree angle to get 3 mark here. So for question for question B, we must predict the change in hybridization if any of the X atom in the following reaction. So we have the reaction here. So we must first know the ground state for X. So we know that we need three bonding pair and one lone pair. So there will be no excited state because it has three bonding pair. So we must also state the X hybridization state which is sp3 to get one mark here. And for X ground state here, we must have five bonding pair, but we only have three bonding pair here. So we need to be, so we need to excite this X atom. So we will get one bonding pair, two bonding pair, three bonding pair, four bonding pair, and five bonding pair here. So we must state the X hybridization state, which is sp3d. And we must also state this dmt orbital to get one mark here. And lastly, we can make the conclusion, the change in hybridization of X atom from XF3 to XF5 is from SP3 to SP3T. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. Bye. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like.